All right. Have you ever wondered, thought, hey, I wish I could like increase the resolution on my Oculus Go. It'd be kind of cool. You know what? What could it do? What could I do? Could I do something like that? I've thought that. Um, I just figured it wasn't possible or I don't know. But guess what? It is possible and it's freaking awesome. I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I just, I don't even know. It's amazing. So take a look at this. All right. Here is. Art Plunge. You should definitely try this with the Art Plunge. It's freaking amazing. Look at this. Here is the. This is the normal quality. This is just default. What it looks like. Look, that is high resolution. Normal. Look at her. She's blurry, right? She seems blurry. Higher resolution. Check that out. But really, what we're dealing with is texture resolution, not screen resolution. Let's see, here we are, I'm looking at normal resolution. She's reading her letter. Now let's switch to high resolution. Bam! Look at that! What? Are you serious? Normal resolution. Oh, it's, it's really impressive until you go BAM! It's like what? It's like a new experience. Brand new. Mona Lisa. Normal. Oh, it looks cool. Now you can see the cracks. Look at that. Now you can see the cracks, well, I don't know with the YouTube compression, but you can see the cracks. I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave a link in the description to these files. You can download them and look at them yourself. Here we go, normal resolution, high resolution. Here we go, normal resolution. I guess I took a picture when she was blinking. Normal resolution, high resolution. Check this out. Things to look at. Look at the blue in the back of the painting. This is normal resolution, and then in high resolution, you can see details. Again, I don't know if the YouTube compression is going to remove it, but let's see. Look at the top of her blouse. It's got like a little ridge. High resolution. Look, it looks way clearer, and you can even see some patterns underneath it, like some kind of a, what is it called, a brim? I don't know what it's called. Anyways. Um, all right, let's see. Venus. Look at her arm by her hair. Look at the, I think it's called aliasing blockiness now we have higher resolution look it looks you can't see any blockiness really look at her face look at the whole picture it's it's soft now it's clear high resolution look at this normal resolution again look at her arm you got some jaggies look at that so much better look at just it looks like a real painting now it looks like there's like crackling in it even though it's 3D, here it is, normal resolution again. Normal resolution. Take a look around. Bam! High resolution. This is freaking crazy. This is crazy. Normal resolution. Normal resolution. High resolution. Look at the difference. Normal resolution. And now, high resolution. What? Okay, drop dead. This is normal resolution. This is high resolution. Look at those barrels. Watch. Normal. See, they don't look bad. You don't think, oh, that looks bad. But then when you go high resolution, like, whoa, that looks really clear. So normal resolution. It looks softer, way softer than high resolution. Here is the drop dead logo on normal resolution. Here it is on high resolution. So much clearer. Normal, high. Normal, high. Here's Quake on. What is this on? Yeah, here's Quake on regular resolution. Normal. Here it is on high. And you might think, well, where can you really see things? Like, look at where the crosshair is, like that wall. This is, this is, this is normal. Look at the wall, the textures. They become clearer on high resolution. Look down by the dead guy with the chainsaw. See, it's soft. Now it's clear, like more clear. This is crazy. This is like absolutely crazy. I didn't even know you could do this. Anyhow. Here's, here's one thing I'm going to say. Um, 
it does seem to impact performance on some things. I couldn't tell any performance change on on Art Plunge, um, but I could on Drop Dead. Um, like it might change the frame rate, and like in Drop Dead, like maybe it was like 50 or 45 frames a second instead of 60. Um, but there's different levels too. You can go from normal, because normal is 1024, and then you can go to like um, the highest I went to is 2048, but then there's a 15 something in between. So, um, and I will show you the commands uh, to do that. Okay, here are the commands. Um, hang on, this isn't the command. I'm just trying to connect to my device here. Okay. Um, uh, they're up here. Uh, ADB shell set prop debug dot oculus dot texture width and then texture height. You know, the width and the height. So you have to enter one and then the other. So that does the width. That does the height. Bam! Now that's low resolution. That's lower than normal. That's lower. That's like real blurry. Here is the one that's one step up from from normal. You have to do both of these, of course. All right, which I didn't show you that one. I showed you, however, this one. In fact, I haven't looked at the 1536. There. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't want to mess up my device. These are not permanent. As soon as you restart your device, it resets back to 1024. Um, or, you know, you could just type in 1024. And then it's normal. Uh, I thought this was absolutely incredible, absolutely amazing. Um, you're probably going to have different experiences on different apps. Um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend you try it with Art Plunge. Um, I've only tried it with a few, the ones I showed you, um, but I'm really excited to try other things. But Art Plunge looks so, so much better with 2040. It's so much better. It's amazing. It's so incredible. And if you didn't buy Art Plunge, just there's an Art Plunge preview which has like two or three paintings in it. Still amazing. Um, I did want to say that uh, when you try, if you're going to try to record while you're on, like I tried to record while I was on 2048, it can record, but it's real choppy. I would not recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, understandably, it's using more resources. Understandably, they set the default to 1024 instead of 2048 for a reason. Um, but uh, I don't know if there's some games that if you set this to, it's going to be unplayable. Um, Drop Dead definitely reduced the frame rate, but it was still very, very playable. Very playable. Um, so anyhow, yeah, that's it. Uh, I will leave this information in the description. And you, you, know, you have to be able to run ADB, um, but that's not covered in this video. However, you know what, if you want... Um, okay, a lot of people are like having trouble, sometimes having trouble with ADB and you have to install it on the Android SDK and all this stuff. You could go that route and sometimes it's complicated and difficult um, for various different reasons. But you could also just go to uh, Jokala, Jokala, whatever, .com and download uh, ADB link for Windows and then just and then just run it See, I'm just running everything from ADB link. It has ADB already in the directory. Um, you don't have to set anything up. You just extract it and you go into the command prompt and just CD into the directory. So anyhow, I just thought this was amazing. This is freaking mind-blowing. It blows my mind. And uh, I'm just crazy excited about this. So, yeah. This is amazing. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you have fun doing this. Um, I'm just blown away. So.